learners let us see about the heisenberg's uncertainty principle so by classical mechanical way if a particle is moving means we can able to predict the momentum and position but heisenberg a german physicist in the year 1927 he said that this position and momentum terms cannot be determined simultaneously that means uh, at a time we can't predict and tell the uh, position as well as momentum values so according to wave mechanics if we consider a particle in moving condition means uh, that is it exhibits a wave like nature so hence i have drawn this figure like this so this is the region which it gets traveled so since it is uh, moving in x direction i have denoted this x term so within this region the particle can be anywhere uh, can exist so uh, mainly the probability will be uh, where the place is the amplitude is maximum the particle can be there so here you can see that this this line amplitude is uh, said to be a maximum one so uh, most probability is the particle can be uh, here the location its location so according to his concept an uncertainty occurs that means if we if we able to predict this uh, location uh, means we cannot tell about the momentum term uh, likewise vice versa uh, if we say about this momentum means we can't predict a location so that is his statement so as an expression way uh, it, it can be said as del x so this del it represents the uncertainty term so the product between uncertainty in position and uncertainty in momentum since it is of x direction i have given it in suffix del p x this is uncertainty in momentum the wave which is traveling in x direction so product between these two terms will be greater than or equal to h cross so we very well know that h cross is equal to h by 2 pi so this h is said to be the planck's constant so h is equal to value is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule per second so next uh, if we able to predict this uncertainty in location term means it can be written as del x tends to 0 so at that time the uncertainty in momentum will be tends to infinity so vice versa we can also write it as if del p x tends to 0 means the corresponding del x will be tends to infinity so this is for the two terms momentum as well as position likewise we can also write for energy and time so at that time the expression can be written as del e into del t will be greater than or equal to h cross that is h by 2 pi and we already know that this planck's constant is a non zero term so at this condition this uncertainty principle will be a valid one always since it is a non zero quantity and next is uh, as i have represented this position and momentum then energy and time these are all said to be as canonically conjugate quantities thank you